Hey everybody, Vampire1444 back here again. And I'm just going to do a DVD store Blu ray update for what, September. So let's go, there's plenty of DVDs and four Blu rays. But the first one is them really, really brilliant French film. Uh, home invasion film about a couple who go to stay in a house in the country and they start getting terrorised by uh, a number of individuals and it's really good, some really nice intense moments in it uh, so yep, yeah, really really good uh, the next is a Norwegian film Fail uh, and it, it was surprisingly, it was ok yeah um, it's about two crime scene cleaners and they find this young girl uh, and it turns out she's a mythical creature. She's been kept there by a scientist who died and the government's after her and our own people are after her. And, uh, it's really well acted. Uh, could have had a bit more a bit more violence and stuff in it, but uh, yeah. Wasn't too bad. Uh, yeah, not not too bad. Uh, not too bad. Next film surprised us. Uh, I didn't think it would be very good, but uh, that's Twix with Val Kilmer, and it's by uh, Francis Ford Coppola. Uh, but yeah, nice little uh, nice little ghost story. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the ending because it's. A bit of a twisty end in there, but it's well acted. Uh, Val Kilmer's canny, uh, Bruce Stern's in it. He plays the sheriff. But it's about a horror novelist who goes to this town to do some research for his next book. He gets embroiled with uh, a murder that happened many years ago. He's trying to seek out what what happened. But like I say, some really nice twist in it. Quite a good film. Next one. Oh, no, sorry about the noise. Ah, noisy next one, you guys. Uh, next one I haven't watched yet. It's a Spanish film called Shiva. It's about a boy who suffers from photophobia, uh, which is he can't go into the sunlight. So him and his mother moved to the country, to this uh, cottage that in the shade. And shortly after they arrive, uh, animals and people are starting to be killed and the townsfolk I believe it's him, but it's apparently it's something else. So I'll have to watch that one. Next one, I haven't watched this one either because a lot of these came like in the last couple of days. And that's Stay Alive. It seems to be some type of slasher based on a computer game. Uh, it looks like you play the game and you start to die or something. So I'll have to watch that see what it's like. I'll watch that tonight probably. Um, this one is a, a five horror movie box set and I've only watched one of these and that's Bachelor Party Massacre which was pretty terrible but you also have Curfew, Axe, Pieces and Sickle. Now, I'm not expecting much because this was only two quid so I don't think they're going to be uh, that good but like I say two quid so I thought why not. I watched this last night, Camp Dread and I didn't think much of it. Uh, it just seemed to be going through the paces. There was only one kill in it that I liked. And that's at the end, where the last uses a severed head to kill another guy. But it was just your standard run of the mill slasher film. You've got a group of kids, they think they're taking part in some quiz show where they can win like a 
well, some survival game thing where they can win like a million dollars, but uh, they all start getting killed off. Uh, standard run of the mill thing. Uh, I haven't watched this either, uh, and that's Kindred the Embraced, a uh, short lived uh, TV series. Again, I picked this up for like three quid. Uh, I heard it's not that good, and I can't actually remember much of it. I remember seeing the odd episode when it was aired on, I don't know if it was like a sci fi channel. Uh, for three quid, I thought, why not? Next one is the original House on Sorority Row, and I really, really liked this. It was really, really good. Much better than its remake, which is uh, it's just called Sorority Row, I believe, which is over there somewhere. But yeah, it's uh, it's near enough, same as the uh, remake. Uh, the place is closing down for the holidays or some mix of the kit, the lasses in it in the school uh, decide to, sorry the frat house, uh, decide to hold a party uh, but the housekeeper woman uh, she's a bit of a bitch uh, and they accidentally kill her and then the body go and instead of going to the police to hide the body until after they have the party but as the party is going on somebody starts killing them off one by one and I won't tell you the end in case You've never seen it, or no? I think most horror fans would have seen it. But yeah, really, really good. Glad I got it. The same with the next two. And the next one is Phone, a Japanese ghost story. And that little girl there is one freaky little bitch when she gets possessed. And it's really good it's a nice little uh, nice little story I thought it'd be more like uh, the ring but it's not uh, it's completely different it's basically this young schoolgirl has an affair with a married man and she disappears and this journalist starts receiving phone calls and uh, she moves to this this house to try and get away from the, the person who's making the phone calls and she's with her friend and her friend receives the phone call but the daughter picks up the phone by mistake yeah, the little girl and she gets possessed and it's about trying to find out why she's possessed and what caused it and it's a really really good film yeah well worth the pick up as is the next one uh, probably can't read it because it's in Korean but it's actually Red Eye and it's it's not the American one set on the plane uh, this this is set on a train and it's got a lovely little lovely little cover and it's basically there's a train crash and loads of people get killed but the company decides to save money and repair the, the carriages and start using them again uh, not realising that the carriages are now haunted and it's about a group of passengers on the train on I think it's the, I don't know if it's the, I can't remember if it's the anniversary of it and they start experiencing stuff and somebody starts killing them and it's really really good I really enjoyed it unfortunately I can't read about the extras or anything because it's all in South Korean but yeah, excellent film. And um, that's my DVDs. Next are my Blu-rays, and they're all steel books. And the first one isn't a horror, but it's one of my favourite sci-fi films ever. And that is the Steel Book of Forbidden Planet. Really, really classic film with Walter Pigeon and Leslie Nielsen. He looks really really young and of course you got Robbie the robot and I'm sure most of you will know what the story is but for those who don't uh, spaceship lands on another planet 
and there's only two people living on the planet, father and daughter. Apparently the rest of the, everybody else died. And they come to rescue them, not realizing um, there's something on the planet. Like if you interfere with the father and daughter, it comes after you. And, uh, it's just a really, really good music. Uh, film. The music's a little bit uh, experimental, lots of different sounds and stuff. Uh, but really, really excellent film. And it was only 10 quid, so I was really surprised with that. Uh, the next one I've been trying to get for a while, and I had to get it from Germany. And again, it was only about £12, so I was really chuffed. And that is the Steel Book of Land of the Dead. Now the only problem is, obviously we're from Germany. I don't know if you can see that, but everything's in German, all the writing. So I, could, so I can't see what the special features are. And uh, it's not open. Uh, none of these steel books are open. And they're not going to be open because I've got them all on uh, either Blu-ray or DVD. So I'm just going to keep these sealed. But yeah, this is a, a really good film. Obviously by Giorgio e. Ramirez. Uh, for me, it's the last good one that he did. Uh, Diary of the Dead was okay. Um, and Survival of the Dead, I just didn't, I didn't like that at all. So for me, this is the last of the good zombie films he's done. So yeah, really glad about that. And these two just came the other day. I've had them on pre-order for months. The first one is Phenomena with young Jennifer Connelly, and it's by Dario Gento, and it's a Brilliant, brilliant film. Yeah, it's about that. Jennifer Connelly, she goes to stay at a boarding school and there's some murders have been happening. And she finds that she can actually control insects and animals. So she tries to set out and find who the killer is and she uses all these stuff to help. Uh, Donald Pleasance is in it. Uh, he helps her and he's got a monkey. And then, from what I remember, the monkey helps her as well. The monkey's a bit savage as well. But it's been a while since I've watched it, so I'm going to have to watch the other copy of it. Just remember, I do remember it has a a really good soundtrack, uh, all rock music. So I'm going to have to sit and watch that again. And the last one is by Dario Gento again, and that is. The Steel Book of Inferno, sorry, Inferno. It's the second part of the Mother trilogy. Uh, obviously, Suspiria being the first one, and Mother of Tears, the third one. But again, excellent, excellent film. I tend to find that most of his uh, 80s stuff are the best stuff he's done. Uh, well, sorry, 70s and 80s. And this is basically. A brother and sister delve into a series of gruesome New York murders. It soon becomes clear that the devil is at work. A coven of witches are abroad and they bring murder, death and escalating insanity with them. And it's an absolutely brilliant film. I say it's sealed, it's going to stay sealed. Um, I just got to wait now to see if they bring out a steel book of Suspiria. And I doubt they'll bring out a steel book of Mother of Tears but It'd be nice if they did, then you could have a complete collection on Steelbook. But yeah, brilliant, brilliant film. If you haven't seen it, i will definitely recommend you pick it up and watch it. It's absolutely fantastic. And that's it for this month. Uh, I've got a few more films on order. Uh, there's one coming from America. And there should be about another three on the way from eBay. And... Just trying to think, I think at the end of this, I don't know if it's the end of this month, uh, the new Godzilla comes out, which I'll be getting that. Um, see what else I pick up, see what I find about the place. And thanks very much for watching, and I will see you next time. So, cheerio.